The other day, I came across a Charles Spurgeon quote. During a time when I was reflecting on some long-held, unanswered prayers. It said, Unbelief can destroy the best of us. Grace can save the worst of us. The two powerful opposites were just what I needed in the moment as a pointed reminder of how important it is to have enduring faith when the answers we seek aren't always forthcoming. Another Spurgeon quote that stuck with me is this, To trust God in the light is nothing, but trust Him in the dark, that is faith. If you're like me, you may wonder if your expectations are too high when it comes to believing God for the impossible. You know God answers prayer. And maybe you even know Hebrews 11.1 1 by heart. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yet even with this knowledge, there are some burdens we carry for years, tucked deep within the quiet places of our hearts. The way we bend or bow beneath the load may change and shift with time, but the weight is still there. Some days we surrender our burden to the Lord, full of confidence and a strong, hopeful vision. He's got this. I'm fine. He'll take care of it. I just need to be patient. But when the salvation, the healing, provision, or breakthrough isn't found anywhere on the horizon, we pick it up again, crumbling under the pressure, and wonder if, perhaps, it's just meant to be this way. Maybe this is our cross to bear. We know God's grace is sufficient. His strength is made perfect in our weakness. He's proven himself over and over again. But this, where is he in this? Well, maybe he's right beside us, just like before. Holding, carrying, strengthening, reminding us that he knows and that He cares. And also, reminding us that while some miracles are instantaneous, others take time. I don't know if healing or provision will come in the way we want it to, but this I do know. God always has the final say, and it's not over until he says it's over. God honors simple faith. God honors crazy faith. But most of all, God honors enduring faith. So let's keep praying, keep hoping, and keep believing.